Here's a man that knows all about making stuff happen. It's Lance Hocutt, Lance Hocutt Financial Group. We call him the money man. It's a, a simpler, more comfortable approach to all things money. Lance, good morning, brother. Roll Tide. Roll Tide and happy hump day, my friend. How are you? I'm doing well. Happy hump day to you, too, man. Uh, nice to have you with us this morning, as always. Yes, uh, sir. You know, uh, our questions come in throughout the week. Uh, round the clock at 95.3 The Bear. Tap the app if you have a question for Lance Hocutt. This morning, I just thought this was a... Uh, most of our questions are fantastic. I thought this was really good. Kathy in Northport, Alabama says, Please ask Lance, after paying a credit card off, is it better to close out the card or keep it open? So I am not a credit expert. We talk a lot about that. But I'm going to reference one of my good buddies who takes care of me at Alabama Credit Union, Benson Bowling. He's always told me, when you close that credit card, something is negative out there about that. Mm -hmm. And he says, don't do it. So if you pay it off, don't close it. I'm not sure what the what what happens in the credit industry with that. But I, according to him, it's a negative piece that shows up. So what I would recommend, pay that puppy down, pay it off, and then keep it for a while before you close it. There's something that goes on, and that's going to have to be a credit expert that's way above my pay grade. And uh, I'm glad you did a bear hug this morning for Alabama Credit Union. Those are great people. Good job. Yes, sir. Good folks over there. Uh, Maddie, I got a bonus question this morning. I just thought this was interesting. Maddie is preparing to homeschool her 16-year-old. And she says they don't teach any financial lessons in school, and I want that to be part of my son's education. He is 16, as I mentioned. She said, is there a basic book you would recommend for kids or younger people about finance and money? If there's not, there ought to be. Maybe you may have to write one, Lance. <laughs> That's right. You know, God bless her for doing that. We have, my wife and I have been blessed. We homeschooled all four of ours. Had one that graduated Bama in May. We've got a junior at Bama right now, and we've got two younger ones that we're still homeschooling. Uh, kind of weird because, like, how does how does a homeschooler go and participate in sports? Well, the Tebow Law allows that, and that's not what her question was. Right, right. But God bless her for doing it. There's a lot of parents who are moving towards that, whether it's a health issue that they want to keep the student out for uh, because of the COVID issues, or, you know what, they're just kind of fed up with the school systems. And by the way, we have wonderful school systems in our area. Uh, we chose to do that not because of the school system, but because of our personal preferences. Mm -hmm. But God bless her for doing that. I encourage her to do it. Yes, there are some curriculums out there. Uh, I don't have the names at the top of my list. I will research that and email. If she'll tap the app and email us uh, or email me, Lance at LanceHoka.com, I will get her that curriculum. And to your point, Steve-O, I have a full-fledged curriculum written for the collegiate level. I, I firmly believe that our students are missing. It should go to the to the uh, the uh, pre uh, pre college level as well. Absolutely. We just do not do a good job. We we do a terrible. Let me just say it that way. We do a terrible job of preparing our children uh, about finances. Uh, you know the the thing I remember of them preparing us is well. Here's how to write a check. Yeah, okay, great. That's, right. that's mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. who, who uses checks anymore? Uh -huh. You know. So it, 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 it's something that, as a society, we have to get behind. Uh, I've spoken with Daria on many occasions, Dr. Daria, and mm -hmm. he is really for that. Mm -hmm. the, the problem is you have so much that comes down from the state sure. that says you have to have so much of X, Y, and Z, and then there's not a lot of room for the finance. Well, mm -hmm. it, we have to have some household finance to help people stay out of debt. I mean, look at our debt crisis. We have to have... Uh, some household finance to help people make good choices about saving for their future. Because I got news for you. For some of us, Social Security may not be there. You bet. And that's not what that was designed for. So she is spot on. I want to encourage her and all you parents out there who are going through that. What do I do? How do I get the best? I, I would love to help you through that. Uh, my wife does all of that for us and has a great system. And uh, she would be glad to consult with them, too. Good job, so, Maggie. Uh, Maggie. We appreciate that question from her this morning. That's right. Maddie or Maggie? Who was it? Let me look just a minute. I said Maggie because I've got your daughter on my mind. It's It was Maddie, <laughs> M-A-D-D-I-E. Okay. Gotcha. That's what I thought you said. So, Maddie, reach out to us. 
And if there's any other families out there that need some help with resources for homeschooling, please reach out to me. I'm not an expert there, but I can put you in touch with one real quick. Absolutely. Nobody better. How do we get in touch with you, brother? Man, you can call me at Lance uh, or call me at 205-345-9733 or reach us at LanceHocut.com. Remember, we are an independent firm. The Lance Hocut Financial Group is an independent firm, and we clear through S.A. Stone. God bless y'all. Tomorrow is Thursday, one more day closer to In Studio Friday. Amen. Looking forward to it. LanceHocut.com, a more comfortable approach for you to all things money. Happy that he's a part of our Pepsi All Request Hour and of our Pepsi All.